Hello everyone, this is Running on Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies and gentlemen, and everyone watching. This is Running on Empty Food Review, and I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Well, we are back. We are back at it again, right here, right now, in the uh, eating, eating environment. Some people just call it a car, but I like to, you know, spice it up a little bit. Uh, we have an army of birds around uh, in the skies above. That's my new security detail. We really souped up the motor so we can get to, uh, you know, these fast food places even faster. So you can hear the giant engine idling there. And uh, I'm just, this is serious business. That's all that I have to say. And speaking of serious business, this is where it's at. McDonald's has a, a fairly new release out. Look, it's not the newest thing in the world. It's been out for maybe like a week, a week and a half. And it's another addition to their signature lineup of burgers. Now, this is something that they've been trying out for probably about a, a year or so, maybe a year and a half. And they've been adding a few things, maybe taking something away here, adding a new thing here. And I guess they're essentially, as they say, throwing stuff at the wall, seeing what sticks, seeing what doesn't, and then they're just going from there. This is a straightforward name, at least. It doesn't have any sort of name that I had to keep forgetting. It's just called the Mushroom and Swiss Burger. It is an artisan burger, however, but it's just called the Mushroom and Swiss Burger. Now, here's what comes on it, okay? The beef patty is a quarter pound. So you can see, it's like one of the little dollar menu items. It has a thick beef patty, uh, just like you would get on the quarter pounder. Comes on an artisan roll, right? That's where they're getting it in. Seasoned mushrooms, fried onion strings, Swiss cheese, and bistro aioli. And you might be saying, all right, well, everything kind of seems straightforward for the most part. You're just like a mushroom and Swiss burger. But what the bleepity bleep is the bistro aioli? Uh, well, what that is supposed to be, I did a little research on this, because as I said, we're in serious business mode, ladies and gentlemen. The bistro aioli, what it's supposed to be is it's just a, a creamy uh, sauce that's, that's put on it, and uh, it's been described as having a little hint of garlic, and maybe a little bit of uh, savoriness, perhaps also tying together with the mushrooms as well. That's really what the burger is. We know what's on it. Uh, price for this, before we forget, was $5.39, which is about, you know, what you would expect for a, a premium burger at this point. And uh, let's see what we've got. It comes in the uh, minimalistically designed, signature crafted box, right there. It's like a little treasure chest, you know? Look at that. Golden... Well, it's not like, well, the, 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 the golden arches, and it's not even monochrome, just the, the arches, I guess. I like it, though. I always like this box design. Here we go. Let's see. Let's see what we look. Here's the bun in the, uh, in the clouded light. That's what it looks like. Let's see what this burger is looking like. You can see it's kind of hanging off the bun a little bit. Right there. I know sometimes, uh, there we go, it's coming into focus. You can see that cheese kind of oozing off right there. It is hot to touch, it is, uh, it is fresh. And let's just try and take a little peek under the bun here before anything else. All right, so you can see there's that aioli that I was really hyping up with a few of the onion strings on it. And uh, then I just don't want to risk disaster. You can see everything else on the bottom right here. Uh, you can see some of the mushrooms right there. You can see the, uh, the cheese the onions, the burger, so it's all there. Uh, like I said, they actually did a pretty good job just describing what's on this, and uh, we're just gonna see how it all blends together. So, let me just get one view right here of the sandwich. So there I am with it. And uh, that's what it looks like, and there's just a quick little view. You kind of see those mushrooms drooping off the side there. All right, well, we know what's on it. I know what's on it. You know what's on it. We all do. I'm just going to try and uh, sink my teeth into this, and I'll let you know what it tastes like. Mushroom and Swiss Burger from McDonald's. It's going in.
and take a few more bites. And one more bite. All right. I think the best way is to really just go kind of ingredient by ingredient and just see how it all ties together. So that's what I'll go with. The mushroom and Swiss burger. First and foremost, overall assessments. You can just leave right after this if you're really, you know, that desperate and you're, you're sitting there, you're on the edge of your seat. Should I go? Should I get it? You know, I'll tell you right now. Very, very... Uh, too long, didn't read consensus, okay? The burger itself tastes pretty good. I have a few issue, issues with it texture-wise, texture uh, but it tastes okay. So there you go. There's the there's the really short review for it. In detail, here's what it comes down to, okay? For a signature burger, I've certainly had a lot worse, okay? I've had a lot worse. The burger is flavorful. I gotta give them credit on that. The beef patty, you know, maybe the freshness, because this is really fresh. I mean, it was actually really hot to touch. But the beef patty was fresh, it was juicy. Uh, you know, just a, a thick quarter pound patty, which uh, you know, they did a good job with. I can't complain there. The, uh, the mushrooms, that's the big, you know, the big star of this dish. Mushrooms are fine. They're actually pretty savory. They're seasoned a little bit too. Uh, so the mushrooms are fine. The aioli that they, uh, they were really praising and the uh, lauding in their advertisements was good too. Like I said, I was, I was trying to see if there was that little hint of uh, garlic in there, and there was. It's not as strong as you would think it was, but it's just ha it has this little subtlety to it, and it just blends in very well, ties it together. The uh, onion strings were good, had a nice little crunch to them. There's a good amount of them on it. And uh, the Swiss cheese, that's the only thing. It's a savory sandwich, and it's pretty big. The Swiss cheese kind of uh, just it's there. If you're kind of eating around the edges, perhaps, you might be able to get a little bit more flavor from it, uh, but it gets a little lost in there, but it, it, it's not any severe detriment. Now, you might say, all right, well, it sounds like a pretty good sandwich. You certainly described that it's flavorful. What was that complaint that you had in regards to the texture? Here's my one and only issue, really. The thing that I noticed with the mushrooms and the Swiss cheese, really the two most important ingredients on this sandwich, was that the Swiss cheese was, it was a little rubbery, you know, you can kind of see as I was, as I was eating it, you know, it was really kind of like elastic almost, and I had to just really pull it, snap it, uh, and just re re really chewy, a little more chewy than I would have liked it to be, and, uh, the mushrooms too, when I, when I like getting mushrooms, and granted I don't get them too often, usually from a really good restaurant, they, they just seem to be really, uh, you know, just really soft. They aren't, they aren't very chewy. You know, when you're trying to chew down and you're biting and you're biting and it's not, it's not splitting or anything. Uh, so the mushrooms could be of a little higher quality. I'm just not a fan of that harder, uh, again, like more rubbery texture to it, but it's, at least it's very flavorful. I got to give them credit on that. The texture might just be an issue. That might be an issue with preparation, who's to say, but overall the taste of this is good. Uh, they did a good job with it. And uh, that's my only issue, so just keep that in the back of your mind. I don't think that's a type of thing that would say, don't get this, you know? Go ahead, try it out, and just keep that in mind. Now, price for this, I got it for uh, $5.39 uh, with tax. It ended up going to around $5.77 uh, or so. So uh, keep that in mind, but about the average price for a premium sandwich at McDonald's. Therefore, out of 10, it's a really flavorful sandwich. I can't complain. 8.0 out of 10 flat is the rating. Because again, if my issues are only with just the texture of it, the taste of it is fine, and uh, that's really the most important thing. All right, on a final note, keep this in mind. If you want to help support 
my channel and my radio show goes out every week on SoundCloud, soundcloud.com slash VORW underscore radio underscore INT. Reaches people all over the world on the shortwave. You want to help it out, help keep it going, help keep this channel going, uh, check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash the report of the week. You can find the link to it in the pinned comments, in the cards, in the description. And it's just a really fun community. There's a whole community of people that just like the channel, uh, other viewers and fans, and it's a place that just you could interact, you could talk, and it's just a lot of fun, and you can help things out with it, too. And on one final, final note, we're getting close to, uh, we got the sirens for added effect. We're getting close to the holiday season. You know, I know that that family member or friend really might want that new video game or that shortwave radio. But go ahead and surprise them and get them a shirt with my face on it, and you'll, they'll react. They'll react absolutely priceless. It'll be priceless to see. Uh, if you want to just uh, make someone's day with that, and you know they wanted a video game, just get them a mug with my face on it instead. Uh, you can find it at my Teespring store, Teespring.com/stores/the-report of the week. Thank you. Take care. I'm your host, the Report of the Week.